Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We told you the other day, but uh, we have more friends on vacation. So we're going to stop at a grocery store for them and then get on over to Disney World. We did something magical that, how long is it here, like a week? Mm -hmm. That we're gonna milk the next week. It is so difficult for us to go to the resorts, like often in the parks, to park yeah. legally, like allowed by security, in Fort Wilderness. But we have friends who are staying here. So we can just drop that cabin number, check last name, on our way. We're bringing Eve here this weekend. We're doing all <laughs> the good, fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have, what are the two, four, five, five grown adults and a little girl in a golf cart. This is not road safe. Do you want to say hi to the vlog, Livy? Are you ready sure. for your debut? Hi. She is our go to horse, or uh, what's it called? Equestrian professional. That's right. I'm falling off. <laughs> Liv, Liv used to teach me how to stuff the stuffed animals in, oh, in, in the pie yeah. at the she Disney did. store in Chicago. So Rocky, who's our driver up there. She's, she's my old boss. She gave, old gave me gray boss. hair. I'm she gave me gray hair, not you. Just drive. <laughs> We didn't realize it had started, but the new Reflections Resort for DVC is going here, and this ranch will soon be moving. Thankfully, it's not going away, but it will be moved. All right, here we are. We are in the trails. I did not think this was going to happen, but Rocky's like, let's go. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to perpetuate this vacation vibe that started with Sean and Caroline that continued with the Earhearts that are now here with Rocky and family. And Trails End has a, a supposed to be a killer vegan option. I already told the server we got two vegans, they're gonna get it all going. All you can eat vegan, it's supposed to be delicious. There were like samosas and samosas, samosas? Samo Samoas, samosas? Something delicious. And endless salad, and there's a special shortcake dessert, and it's all supposed to be delicious. I'm gonna eat my weight because, I'll tell you more about it later, but I signed up for my first ultra marathon today, a 50 kilometer. I'll tell you all about it later tonight when we're not hanging out with our good friends. I'm so happy they're here. Rocky was like a sixth parent to me. Got a lot of, I got a lot of parent parent figures. I'm very blessed. And she was one of them. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the, the desserts that are out. Looking so good. So good. Here we've got bread pudding, apple cobbler, gummy bears, caramel sauce. We got salad. We got mushrooms, we got other kinds of salads, we got fruits, we got all kinds of good stuff. Oh, a bucket of shrimp. Oh, I see baked beans. I see the chicken, the meats, the pizzas, all the good stuff. So just from the get-go, we're looking like good options. The baked potato is baked with nothing on it besides salt, so that's good. Got roasted vegetables, a vinaigrette salad, and a fruit salad. We're going to ask about the breads to see if there's any vegan breads. Sometimes the wheats are good to go, but she's going to go double check. I wish that that cornbread was, but it is not. Look at this is the, the special I vegan ate. appetizer they brought out. This is for two samosas, and they're bringing out rolls specially made for us. They don't have butter smeared on them. And they got roasted veggies and all this good stuff. Hey, these are delicious. They're beyond good. They're like what we got from the farmer's market. Liv's already on ice cream. Look at that fresh. Fresh, warm, non-buttered rolls. They sound kind of 
There's six. That's five for me and one for Sarah. Oh my goodness, they just brought these entrees for us. It's the really good. And veggies and just try it. This, is, this man's trying to kill me. I think I offended him. No, that's not my favorite. I'll explain later. And they brought four. Look at these strawberry shortcakes. Okay, so we're writing our names in the sand, and Peter did a really good job with his toe. He's got really like chicken scratch handwriting, and I'm like, I, I can't believe that that came from Peter. Okay, now Livy's got to try with her toes too. <laughs> How's it going? Good. She wanted to go run, but made it like. I thought it was good. Well, it works out that you have a short name. Yeah. <laughs> Liv. I'm doing it over here. Seashell. I'm kidding. I'm not <laughs> Dot the eye with the seashell. Okay, we the redid heart. it. Tiny heart. Yeah. Cute. Okay, we're back on the cart. It's Frederick. It's Frederick. It's Frederick. It's Frederick. Is it? <laughs> hey, Frederick! I smiled! Yes! He checked on it. I was Frederick! Wait! What was, what was he doing oh, over there? Front <laughs> <laughs> like, like desk and security? He's a talented cast member. Be careful for deer, Nana! What? Deer! Watch out for the double nostril snakes! <laughs> <laughs> no, she was just saying, watch out. They're looking behind us. <laughs> 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 Did you see it here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry, squeezed you so hard, but I was afraid of losing you. <laughs> 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 I know, it's lost your eye. Why is it happening? It's <laughs> Mom, you are gonna But first, look at my pocket. 
see my pockets. Ooh. Wait, wait. You see my pockets? Ooh, for all the haters of the cargo pockets, I got me some vegan bread rolls in my cargo pockets. And we brought home three containers of leftovers. Two things full of roasted delicious vegetables and rice. One container of strawberry shortcake. But I'm gonna go to run. I'll explain more. Carb up? No. I already you already did. Yeah. Alrighty, Peter is off on his run and I am actually going to go to sleep so I can get my full eight hours in. Um, we had a really fun night tonight. It was so nice to be with people. We, we have seen them when we like went back to Chicago a couple of times, but like um, not Livy and Maggie, her mom and whatnot. So it was a really good night. So thanks for coming along. I know we are definitely going to see them again while they're here. It is good to be home. All right, so Sarah is actually not too far from me asleep. We're doing something different, guys. I think Sarah explained. She's like, she was prescribed eight glasses of water a day and eight hours of sleep a day, and we're taking it super serious. So serious to the point where we're not going to bed or waking up at the same time if our schedule doesn't allow. So Sarah and I have been married over three years, and one thing that we've been super strong about is we, we drove Route 66 for our honeymoon part of it, and we met so many wonderful couples and people, and we heard a lot of like new newlywed advice from couples who've been together for 50, 60 years, and they always said, like, don't go to bed angry, and then one thing that stuck with us was, like, go to bed at the same time. Don't let one person go to bed, the other person stay awake all night by themselves, either watching TV or working or cleaning and like every couple's different so i don't think that rule applies to everybody but that really struck with us so we've listened to that like i try to stay if she has a late night of editing of like designing or something else try to stay awake or if at least i'll be on the couch so if i fall asleep i'm not in bed and then she has to wake me up then we go to bed together we wake up together um but this is one of those instances where like this is super important for her health and for getting our family started so we're not because I also did something huge today and I signed up for my first ultra marathon I'm running a 50 kilometer race in Daytona in December about four and a half weeks before the dopey challenge which is a little crazy but I'm super excited for it. it's 50 kilometers it'll be the longest run I've ever done it's gonna be 31 miles um, it'll be December 7th it's a Saturday out in Daytona there's also a 50 miler and a hundred miler race that day uh, I'm not doing those Maybe I'll do it one day, but not this time. I'm going to start off with the 50K. And it was kind of serendipitous. I've been like toying around with the idea of, of signing up for this ultra marathon for months now. And today was just like the day. I think I needed it because on a sea hour, I haven't run since May 18th. I just got in a funk, I think, with the month we were having. And I was just making excuses. I wasn't running. And that and I had a weird dream last night that like threw off my whole day and I don't I dream but I never remember them and I remembered my dream this morning and it was bittersweet because it had to do with our fertility it was a good dream like Sarah was pregnant in it but it was kind of bittersweet because I felt like it was super real because I never remember my dreams so when I woke up and I was like Phew. and then like it was just a weird start to the day and then Sarah and I were texting when I was at work and I was like I think I'd like to sign up for that 50k and she's like let's do it like I know you can do it you just have to be serious about your training and then about an hour after I signed up for it I was like wow I really need to see about training I found a 26 week training plan 26 weeks is the exact amount of time between now and the race literally training started on Monday for this plan but Monday is a rest day and Tuesday being today was a three mile day and I'm switching over to waking up at five in the morning and it's like this whole like motivational thing I heard this guy Les Brown say like you just have to change your standard like it's no option 5 a.m. wake up calls for me and running is, is, is a fact it has to, like you wake up when you have to go to work during run Disney events we wake up and we wake up at 2 a.m. even though we never do that and we just go so I just have to have it in my mind that I'm waking up at 5 and we're just gonna go so that's what's going on um, and that's my new thing is I want to stay consistent you're not going to hear about it as often as you have in the past because to me it's just going to become part of my life. You don't hear every time I brush my teeth. You hear what I do a lot every day, especially because of the vlog, but I want it to become one of those things where it's just it's just part of what's going on. I'll give you guys updates, and I'm sure you'll see updates hopefully with my health as I start going back to running 
35, 25 to 35 miles a week. And I'm going to use all the training I did before to apply to now when it comes to like what I should be eating, when I should be resting, what I should be drinking, stay away from this, don't do that. But um, I'm excited. And Sarah and I are going to kick, kick everything's behinds the next couple of weeks when it comes to our health and being ready for this IVF because it is time. You guys are the best. We love each and every one of you. And let's have fun tomorrow and have fun today. Ooh, I don't know if Sarah read this, so I'm gonna read this. The message of the day was by Oscar Wydell with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon. Who could not be happy? We appreciate each and every one of you and love each and every one of you. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>